And to get us started, there's a great poem about emotional intelligence recommended by our outstanding librarian. A Lazy Thought by Eve Merriam. Listen carefully. There go the grown-ups to the office, to the store, subway rush, traffic crush, hurry, scurry, worry, flurry. No wonder grown-ups don't grow up anymore. It takes a lot of slow to grow. And when I count to one, you can open your eyes. Three, two, one. We have a very special guest with us to offer our talk this morning. He comes all the way from Connecticut. He is a professor at Yale University and the director of the Center for Emotional Intelligence. This is his fourth time visiting PBS, but let's give him the biggest welcome he's ever gotten. Thank you, Scott. I feel like I'm at an Amway meeting, but... So I guess my job is for the fourth time to ask everybody how they're feeling. <laughs> Maybe that's the fourth time you've ever been asked how you feel. Hopefully not. Sure, it's an everyday thing, right? So tr truly, how is everybody feeling? All right, good and okay are no longer words in this English language. So who can give me another word for how they're feeling besides good or okay? Great. Yes. Excited. Happy. How about you? Um, <laughs> decent. Decent. Wow. How about for you? <coughs> Calm. How about for you? Sad. Sad? Okay, but you're smiling. <laughs> Welcome to Silicon Valley. <laughs> All right. How about for you? Sleepy? All right, you look a little sleepy. How about for you? Awesome. All right, how about one more? You're feeling? So, so. All right. All right, one more. Joyful. Wonderful. All right, we're going to stop there. But those are, those are pretty good feelings. So I was asked, um, I, I have a, a challenge put, a, put, a, put upon me. And as all of you know, I'm a teacher, just like many of the people in this room. Um, the only difference is that I teach students who are 18, 19, 20, 21 years old or older. And I've done some interesting research on these college students. And one of the things that I've learned about these very smart 18, 19 year old students is something I think is very interesting. That the students who want to do the best how many of you want to do your best? That's good. None of the parents are raising their hand. <laughs> They're like, I did that already. So we all want to do our best, right? We all want to work hard. Uh, we all want to get good grades and things like that. But here's what I've learned. What I've learned is the following. That the students at my university who want to get the best grades and to do their uh, best take the least amount of risks. So I want you to just think about that for a minute. That the students, right, who are striving to get the best grades are the ones who take the least amount of risk. Does anyone have any, can anyone, why do you think that might be the case? What do you think? Because they don't want to mess up. Excellent point. How about for you? Okay, so they want to work a little bit more slowly so they can correct their things. How about for you? All right, so this mistake stuff is coming up. Okay, so they want to use pencils. 
<laughs> I love that. All right, how about back there? Yes. They don't want to get a wrong answer? Okay. So I'm, I'm hearing some themes here. One is they don't want to mess up. They don't want to make mistakes. I'm also hearing a theme. What was yours again? They don't want to get the wrong answer. They just don't want to get the wrong answer. So that's kind of like making a mistake too. Are there any other ideas here? We'll go for the student in the back. So they don't want to, they think that if they mess up, then they ruin their entire grade, and there's no way of going back and redoing that. So they, so they think that it's like this permanent problem. Narrow area and not go out and try and bridge that may actually get them a better grade and may improve their learning knowledge. All right, let's go with one more. How about you? What do you think? Yep. Interesting. So they're too busy focusing on maybe the grade or getting right getting a high grade than they are maybe on learning. What do you think about that one? That sounds tricky, doesn't it? That they're only focused on getting the grade and getting the score and not on learning something. So I'm going to stop there now for a minute and I have another one minute and my question to all of you is how do we fix the problem? So I find this to be a big challenge because my students just don't want to take risks. They don't want to be creative. And how many of you like creativity? We all love creativity, right? But yet these students are not willing to be creative because they're afraid they're going to mess up. They're afraid they're going to make mistakes. I think also they're afraid that people are going to not see them as being as smart as they would like to see themselves, even though they are pretty smart. So who thinks they have a solution to the problem? What might be something that I could teach or that you could do personally to help with this problem? Do you think you have an answer? Uh, to, make their to make their brains smarter. I like that. <laughs> and maybe make their brains more comfortable, right, with making mistakes. How about someone else? How about you in the back? Can you speak a little louder, please? Giving higher grades for trying to do things? So do you think giving them higher grades is the answer? Or trying new things. Oh, I like that. So being innovative. What do you think? <coughs> so they can be more careful about their work. I like that a lot. How about you right there? That's interesting. I'm not going to bring that up one here, right? Grades are not important anymore. <laughs> All right, one more. Who has one more idea? How about you, sir? That's a nice idea. So have just be being taught things that where you're you're evaluated for or you are rewarded for your divergent thinking and your creativity. That's very interesting too. So I need to stop here, but I am going to put out a challenge to everyone in the room. And the challenge to all of you is, how do we help our students, like all of you, feel comfortable taking risks so that you can be in the mode of being the best possible learner and being in the mode of trying to be the most creative as opposed to strictly focusing on what? Getting higher grades. Exactly right. Can everyone take a nice long inhale for me? And a nice long exhale. And take one more inhale. And one more exhale. So your challenge that you're going to have to come up with, or the solution that I'm going to ask you to come up with is, how can we be the best possible learners the most creative, and also be students who can take big risks. Sound good? Yes. All right. Mr. Scott? Thank you. That was my, that's my dig for the day. <laughs>